Ten Teppin in ten minutes. First off, keep these in mind when playing Teppin. Battle rules, deck building, and obtaining cards. You'll learn all three just by watching this video. And that's not all. Watch till the end for more. I installed Teppin, but I have no clue what to do. Looks like you're in trouble. I'm a pro at Teppin, so I'll teach you. Really? Thanks! First is this. Battle rules! Choose one battle character out of the 16 heroes available. Each hero can use powerful techniques called hero arts. There are so many characters! I think I'll pick Ryu from Street Fighter. Then let's use Ryu's hero art, Shinku Hadoken. You'll need a deck. But since it's your first time, you can borrow mine. What's a deck? A deck contains 30 cards that you'll use for battle. Using cards that synergize well with your hero art is key. I'll teach you how to build a deck later. Okay. Now, let's hop into a battle. Yeah. Five cards will be added to your hand from your deck. You can redraw only once. You get five minutes to battle. Drop your opponent's life to zero to win. When time's up, the player with the most life wins. If it's a tie, you both lose. Okay. Battles progress in real time, according to the time remaining up top. I'm so nervous. How do you use cards? Cards are split up into two types. The square-shaped cards are called unit cards. These are placed on your field to fight. They have attack and HP, and getting attacked will reduce their HP and eventually destroy them. Action cards have rounded tops and support you with various effects. Uh-huh. You see the three board slots in front of your hero? Place a unit card down there, and they'll start attacking. What are those blue and red lines coming out of the cards on the board slots? These represent when attacks will hit. The blue arrow is your attack, and the red arrow is your opponent's. Hitting an opponent's empty board slot will deal damage directly to their hero. Playing a card before an arrow hits can protect a hero from damage. Okay, got it. When the arrows hit the cards, both cards lose HP, depending on their respective attack values. When a card's HP reaches zero, it'll be destroyed. Huh? Why can't I play this card? Do you see the gauge under your hand that's moving in time with the clock? This contains the MP that you use to play cards. It fills up over time. You can only play cards if you have enough MP saved up to pay their cost. Cards will be shrouded in black if you have insufficient MP. Just wait a bit. Got it! This is a rounded top action card. I have the MP. So why can't I play it in my empty board slot? That's because the placement of action cards varies depending on their effects. Tap a card and a guide will appear to tell you what its effects are and where you can place it. An orange line appeared with an explanation box. Let's see, this card's effect is... Deal 5 damage to one enemy unit. I think I can play it where the line is. Ah! I played an action card and the screen suddenly changed! This is a mode called Active Response, which starts when you play an action card. It's a unique system in Teppin that stops time and switches you to turn-based gameplay. Does turn-based mean that you and your opponent take turns playing cards? That's correct! In this mode, you'll attack by unleashing a flurry of cards to counter effects activated by your opponent and get the upper hand in battle. If you have no cards to play on your turn, press Resolve or wait until time runs out. The cards played will activate in reverse order. They activate in reverse? Ah, uh, my head hurts. <laughs> right? Let me explain a little more clearly. Active response. Start! First, you will play an action card. Here's some damage! Next, I'll play my card. Shield up! Playing action cards back and forth this way lets card effects stack up like building block. When you run out of effects to stack, they'll 
you'll begin activating in reverse. Resolve! First is effect two. My shield! Next will be effect one. Go! Damage, go! With the shield, I guarded against your attack and protected myself from taking damage. <laughs> Yay! It's a good idea to counter your opponent's effects this way. So it's like stacking blocks and then cleaning them up from top to bottom. That's right. On the actual screen, it'll look like this. Okay, got it. Uh, I've got a unit on my board slot, but I can't defend against this attack. Look closely and you'll see that it has an icon that looks like wings and that it seems to be floating. You're right! This card has an ability called Flight. Since it flies in the air, it can fly over the card in front of it and attack your hero directly. Oh, no! To prevent this, you should also play a card with Flight in front of it. I get it. So the only way to defend against Flight is if I play a card with Flight myself. There's so many cool abilities. When you have time, look at some other card abilities for even more fun battles. And I can touch the colored words to learn more. Can my hero fight back somehow? I feel sorry for him. He looks strong, but he only gets beat up. Oh, right. I totally didn't forget. He's just building up his hero AP. What's AP? AP are the points used for hero arts. AP accumulates only through the MP cost of played cards. When a hero art card starts shining, that means it's full. This card also guides you when you tap it and tells you about its ability, so try it out. Okay, time to let loose. Shinku! Wow, hero arts are so cool! Ugh, I lost. I did it, I won! I wanna try a bunch of other decks too. I have a good idea. Deck building. The most popular decks of the season are published in Teppan Academy, which can be found in the app. I recommend using that as a reference. Press the notifications button on the home screen and open up the Teppan Academy page. I have no idea which cards to put in my deck. Then how about we try copying a deck QR code? Is there a QR code posted below the deck image? Yes, there is. First, save the QR code image to your phone. Then, go to Cards on the home screen, open Edit Deck, and press the plus button at the top. Next, press Scan Deck QR, go to Library, and read the QR image you just saved to your phone. Done! Copy complete! Officially recognized players also provide recommendations and easy explanations of their decks on YouTube and Twitter. On YouTube, search Teppin Hero Name or something similar for all sorts of tips. On Twitter, try the Teppin Deck hashtag. Guidance videos are so nice! Obtaining cards! I want to use the deck I copied, but I don't have any of these cards. There are so many ways to get cards. Remember these three methods. Purchase card packs. In the shop, Purchase various card packs with the jewels you can buy, or with the zenny you get in-game. It's such a thrill to see what appears! The second way is to craft cards with souls. What are souls? Souls are points that you get when you reap your cards. You can turn souls into items or use them to craft cards. It's so useful! The craft button is on the card details screen. So gather up souls and get the cards you want. Wow! I think I'll try it now! Oh no! I don't have cards I want to get rid of yet! <laughs> don't give up just yet! Because all new Teppan players can get 10,000 souls free! How do I get them? Tap the presents button on the home screen! You'll see a present of souls times 10,000, which you can get by clicking the claim button. Wow, I got them! Thanks to you, I got the cards I wanted! That's great! The third way is with pack tickets. 
As the name suggests, it lets you pull a pack for free. You can also get these from the occasional updates, login bonuses, and campaigns, as well as from the official programs on YouTube. Follow the official Twitter to make sure you don't miss out on any deals. This is so useful. Thank you. Now that you've built your deck, try single mode to get used to battling. Then try it with other players. You can enjoy all sorts of solo content from the single button on the home screen. Huh? Let's rock! Let's become Teppin' Champions! Teppin'! 